Today we announced a series of important restructuring changes within our offices of multifamily housing and field policy and management. These changes include consolidating multifamily hubs nationwide and closing a number of our smaller offices. They will affect approximately 900 of the department's 9,000 employees. These changes are part of a broader, long-term effort that will allow us to continue to deliver high-quality services while modernizing and adapting to a 21st century model using best practices. The decision to transform and improve the agency is not easy, and it was not a decision any of us took lightly. One thing we're not doing is looking to lay off employees. There will be a transition period that allows folks to make decisions for themselves with respect and with time. I want to briefly explain how we came to our decision and share with you some specifics for implementing these closures and reorganization going forward. Each and every day, we must take responsibility for helping the agency evolve, to develop and implement new procedures that allow us to continue to achieve our goals, and to do so with greater efficiency and even more up-to-date processes and techniques. And these changes are not occurring exclusively in the field. We're looking much more broadly and making necessary changes in headquarters as well. With these changes, multifamily housing will continue improving the way we do business by adopting a risk-based underwriter model, increasing expert focus on managing complex and troubled assets, and balancing workload across the country. Multifamily housing will also streamline its organization structure by flattening headquarters structures, moving to a more manageable 10 field offices versus 50 today, organized in five regions. The small office project led by FPM will adjust HUD's field structure to reduce operating costs and better align HUD's resources and workforce while maintaining effective program delivery by closing 16 small sub-state offices. We're making these decisions because they're in the best interest of our mission, allowing for improved customer service via more efficient operations and greater risk management, not just because they save more money. There will be increased accountability, national consistency, and better alignment with other areas of HUD. There are significant cost savings as well. On an annual basis, the transformation will save up to 40 to $50 million after implementation in multifamily housing, while the small office project realignment will save up to 11 to $15 million after full implementation. Throughout this process, we'll work to be as thoughtful and as compassionate as we can and as sensitive to the needs and concerns of HUD's committed staff. Make no mistake, we will have to make tough choices. But while some of these changes will be painful, we will work to do everything we can to minimize that pain. And we also want you to always remain informed. That's why I encourage you to check regularly on HUD at Work and the Multifamily at FBM web pages for a full list of affected offices and other important information. We'll need your candid feedback throughout this vital evolutionary process. So please stay involved and let us know what we can do better. Thank you.